In this little video, we'll talk about setting up EndNote for your individual development plan for the leadership program. We're going to talk about just starting a new file, creating groups for the different comp competencies, collecting references from other EndNote files, in particular the leadership EndNote files, adding your own, and then getting your bibliographies into your IDP. So let's start with a fresh EndNote and let me bring this in so you can see it. So after you double click on EndNote in your computer you'll come up to a blank screen and you want to start a new file and I'm going to call this my IDP. I actually have another one called my leadership competencies and I'll show you that one a little bit later but just to show you how this starts I'm going to click Save and my computer is thinking about it and here is my new EndNote file. And I'm going to make this, right now it's not full screen, so I'm just going to maximize that to make this full screen. All right, now what I would like to do is create some new groups. <laughs> I can't create groups without having the files in here. So let me show you. I'll show you that afterwards. Let me just pull up my EndNotes, my IDP competencies so that you can see what this looks like after you start getting references together then you can add them to a group let me scroll over so you can see this a little better add references to a group so I actually created groups for all of the leadership competencies which you can see going down the side here and here's a whole lot of references which I worked on putting in. All right, so that is how to create a new file and you'll want to add your references before you create groups, but I'll sh I just showed you where that is. Okay, now, one of the cool things is the leadership department has EndNote files for each of the competencies, recommended articles and books. You're going to find your own as well, but you may want to start with those ones that look interesting to you. Now I can't tell you where to find this because it'll probably change in the future. So I'm just going to show you one here. This one has the books. And these are, at least at, the, at this version, they're not organized by groups, but they do have labels. And some of them may or may not match the um, competencies. You can click on the label to search. Right up here, I just clicked on this to search. And then if you're looking for a t specific topic, so for example, let's say for the ethics competency, you want to get some of these books, you can. All right, this is now in a different EndNote file. I actually have two EndNote files. This was the one I showed you to start. I'm going to close it. And here's mine, my IDP competencies. And I also have the books leadership file. And what I want to do is actually look at both of them at the same time so I can drag them from one to the other. So I'm going to just close this down. And this you can't see too well. So what I'm really doing is just moving this around so that I can look at both at the same time. And because I'm trying to make this window so you can look at it, it's a little hard to see. But there's one that I have. And then I'm going to move this other one right here beside it. So now I think this will this will give you the flavor. On this side I've got mine and on this side I have all the books that are recommended by the leadership program and obviously you're going to do this in a larger window so you can see it better. But let's say I've picked out these ones that I want. I want this one here. I can just click on it. Whoops. Click on it and drag it over here. Notice how I get a plus. And now that one is in my list right here. So there are two files actually that the leadership program has. Let me open up the other one so you can see it. There's one for articles and one for books and you probably want to get a nice mix of both articles and books. I think you have to have at least five references for your um, each competency and you can just drag them over here. Alright, now here's a new reference and it needs to go into a folder and it was on ethics. And so just to show you again, you would go up here to References, Add References to, and then choose the group that it goes into. In my case, it is Ethics, 1.2 Ethics. Now if I click on the Ethics group, I can see just the references that are in that group, just a few, and here's the new one that I added. 
All right, so that is, very quickly, how to drag um, references out of the leadership EndNote files into your own. Obviously, you're not going to choose all of them. You want to pick and choose the ones that are most applicable to your area. All right, you can also search and add your own references. Um, I have other little tutorials on searching the different databases, so you can reference those. But once in a while, maybe you're searching Amazon.com for a particular topic, and you have to start from scratch. Sometimes you will en enter these um, on your own. So you just do References, New Reference, and what kind is this? Let's say it's going to be a book, and I'm going to write in the author. Let's Just for the fun of it. We'll say this is a book that I wrote on how to write your IDP. That'd be a good idea, but not done. All right, and you'd want to enter in publisher information, etc. And then I'm going to close it, and it's going to save it. Should save it. Let's see where it went. Lim. Here it is, right here. So there's my new book that I just added in. So that's just reference. References, new reference, if you want to add references on your own, and see my other tutorials on how to um, search the different databases to find your own. Now, there's one thing that's going to be really unique in putting your bibliography into your IDP. In the IDP, you actually have 15, for the 15 competencies, competencies, 15 bibliographies, instead of if you were going to write an article or a reflection paper for one of the competencies or your dissertation, those files will all have just one bibliography. So this is a little trick that will help you. And let me just show you. I'm going into Word now. This is my IDP. And I'm going to show you this um, competency on communication which I believe I just lost because I resized this. Well, we'll do this one here instead. Leadership in the Self-Learning and Human Development. And, in fact, maybe I'll just scroll through this so you can see this one's really long. That's why I wasn't going to do that one. Here we go. Here's communication. So that one had a bibliography. This one's going to have its own bibliography. The next competency is going to have its own bibliography. So there's a little trick to make this happen. It's a little bit different than you might do otherwise. So here's my page where I want to put my, my bibliography. I'm going to actually delete what I have here out, out so you can see what it would be like if I was starting from scratch. I've, you want to do this last, if at all possible. Write everything else for your IDP and then add in your books when you're working on books, work in EndNote until your, your IDP is basically ready to go and then add this in. It'll be a lot easier for you. Alright, so I'm going to go to my group for communication and that lists now just those references. I'm going to select them. I clicked on the first one. I hold down, down the shift key and clicked on the last one to get them all highlighted. And what I want to do is choose this Edit Copy Formatted, which is also Control K. Really critical, get the formatted and make sure it's using the APA format. All right, and I'm going to go back to my Word. And here's where I want to paste my bibliography. I'm going to do Edit, Paste, and voila, there is my bibliography. So again, let me just show you that again. We highlighted the ones we want. In this case, I used my groups to pick the ones that I wanted. And then I went to Edit, Copy Formatted, and then Paste it into Word. You'll have to do this because, again, you're doing a different bibliography for each competency. EndNote thinks that you need only one. It, the other features that it has um, only needs one file, one EndNote set of references per Word file. So that's a little trick that will help you with your IDP. Alright, please comment if you have any suggestions or additional tips.